And I know I could tell you anything You won't judge, you're just listening Cause you're the best thing that's ever happened to me Cause my darling, you and I Could take over the world One step at a time, just you and I And you're the only one just like the sun One step at a time Just you and I Hey everyone, welcome back to Morning Coffee with Rick Alexander and happy Monday. If y'all want to connect with me, the best way to do that is on Instagram at Rick Alexander underscore and at Lionheart Radio. If you dig the show, it'd mean the world to me if you'd share it with someone else or head to iTunes and give us a five-star review. You know, this week I had every intention of continuing the theme from last week, which is this idea that we seem to learn a lot of given truths about life and we kind of just blow past them. Like we know they're true, but they get so propagated and repeated that they lose the ability to actually impact our life. And while I will visit this idea of cliches in the future, I was sort of struck by inspiration this weekend and I've got a few things on my mind that I'd like to talk about. The first thing that I'd like to do is for you to take a quick second and sort of inventory your life. Like really think about all of the different aspects of who you are. Your hopes and dreams, your failures and insecurities, your relationships and hobbies, even the work that you do. Some things have worked out spectacularly according to plan. When we set a goal and achieve that goal, it's truly an incredible feeling. There's pride, self-confidence, and empowerment that comes with knowing you can do what you set out to do or what you set your mind on. Similarly, that feeling is further intensified when we've been told or made to feel like we aren't capable of that thing. The reason that feels so damn good is because it's sort of like a validation for your ego. The part of you that not only wants to be better than others, but like truly better than yourself. It's like a moment of your ego proving its worth. And to be honest, I don't necessarily mean that pejoratively. Like it's incredible what a human being can accomplish when there's cohesion between their motivation and their effort. And then your mind and your body work together to bring your dreams into reality. It truly is a beautiful thing. So first, think about the successes you've had and enjoyed. Regardless of how bad you might get down on yourself from time to time, give yourself a second to reflect on those moments and all that you've done. Got it? Okay, good. Now I want you to think about what's gone wrong. All of the misadventures and misgivings, the time where what you wanted to say came out totally wrong, times where you've been rejected or denied, when you've hit roadblocks and you just couldn't seem to overcome them. Think about those moments of crushing defeat or failure and really how they made you feel. Chances are that you got down on yourself or you decided to carry those failures around with you. Or maybe you've been bullied or belittled for certain things and you just can't seem to let go of what you've been called or the labels that you've picked up and adopted. And then think about how much those times have really infected your internal monologue like the things that you say to yourself about who you are and what you've done and what you're capable of doing. Okay, now lastly, what I want you to do is to recognize that you've given both of these thought processes far too much credit. Or more accurately, you've given yourself far too much credit. We all think as if we're the star in our own show or movie. We internalize feelings of joy and feelings of sadness and we always try to control the situations because after all, it is all about us. Now, part of me is telling you this because I want you to recognize that regardless of how things have gone up until now, it doesn't matter in the way that you think it does. See, if it were guaranteed that everything you wanted worked out and was successful, it'd be cool as hell at first. The money and the accolades would be enough to buy anyone temporary happiness. But eventually, what you would be is bored out of your mind. And the reason is that humans have such a limited capacity of intellectual processing power. The reality is that we make the best decisions that we can, and we do the best we can with what we're given, but what you're given isn't even a one-hundredth of the actual situation. There are variables and facts that you'll never recognize in the moment, but all of which are playing a role in the way that your life turns out. There's always a stirring or a commotion going on below the surface of our lives. The thing you're saying today is being heard by someone worlds away. The failure that you're shouldering, which feels like your entire world is collapsing, 
is actually just moving you two feet to the right so that you can meet that person that's going to change your life a decade from now or two decades from now. The fact is that we can do our best to make all of our successes happen, but because we never know the full story, we're only capable of making our lives only so good. When they become great is when we accept the truth that is beyond our current grasp. And that truth is the fact that there's a completeness below the surface of everything that is broken. And because we can only see part of the picture, our tendency is to want to pass judgment on ourselves because we only see the piece we're holding and it looks broken. But the truth is that one day you'll recognize that all of the parts of your life that appear broken are simply puzzle pieces that haven't yet found their match. Like your true masterpiece is going to be built with all of the broken pieces of your life that you are currently holding. You just don't see the other side of them. And most likely that you're currently passing judgment on yourself for. The accomplishment of something you want is one thing. The unfolding of a universe that is hellbent on you living a powerful and meaningful life is another thing altogether. But you'll never actually see all that this life has in store for you if you don't let go and accept what is. Don't praise or admonish yourself as if you're the only force at work in your life. Instead, just recognize that you are doing the best you can with what you've been given. And as you're ready and as you're open, you'll be given more. The world isn't this cold, dark place. It's alive and vibrant, and you get to be part of it. Set your aim, do your best, and know that your best work isn't a matter of forcing everything you've ever wanted. It is instead a reflection of how open you are to what could be and how hard you continue to work with the tools that you are being provided. If you live in the past, either because of something good or something bad, you are making contact with a world around you based on what has already transpired. Is it a wonder if your future doesn't appear amazing when you are literally basing your life off old information? If you want to live your masterpiece fully, then you have to learn to make contact with your environment as you are and as it is while understanding that what's below the surface is even more important than what you see now. I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow on Morning Coffee. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you liked me to go over everything. They say the time's supposed to heal ya, but I ain't done much healing. Hello, can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming about who we used to be when we were younger and free. I've forgotten how we felt before the world fell. So typical of me to talk about myself